Hey guys, Michael23B here, and welcome back to another Redstone video. And today, what I have to show you are three different auto jukebox designs, uh, each of them with their own advantages. So if by some chance you're not aware, in 1.19.4, uh, jukeboxes were changed so that whenever they're playing a music disc, they emit a power signal. So if I go ahead and play stall here, it's going to power everything next to it. And this is very useful because it can also be used with droppers and hoppers, so hoppers can take stuff out. Uh, but one of the disadvantages is that while the jukebox is playing a disc, you can't actually take the disc out of the jukebox because it's locking the hopper underneath it. So you have to wait until it ends and then the hopper will get unlocked and you can take it out. So there's no automatic way to take it out with a normal hopper, uh, but you can do so with a hopper minecart. Uh, but more on that a bit later. So we're going to start off with our very most basic design. We just have a jukebox. Um, and we have a hopper underneath the jukebox and it goes up into two droppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button and it starts playing a music disc. Let me go ahead and put those away. And I can also take the music disc out. And so I have it in my inventory and now nothing's playing. I can also put it back in. And then this will actually play until it ends. And then once it ends, it will get taken out and then a new song will automatically start playing. Uh, but let's go ahead and wait for that. And it's about to skip. So let's go ahead and wait. And there we go. It's gone on to the next track automatically. And then I can go ahead and take it out. I could put it in the barrel here. And then I could hit the button again to start something. And yeah. Oh, that one fell over. But yeah, this one is a very basic, very small design. So if I strip away some of the blocks here, you'll see this is all it is. Just automatically plays a new song every time the current one ends. So let's go ahead and do a tutorial. So over here, we have a two wide by four long area. And these are the materials you'll need. You'll need some building blocks, hoppers, two droppers, two repeaters, a barrel, a jukebox, a button, a comparator, and a redstone dust. So let's go ahead and start building it. You're gonna build like this, place a comparator, place a dropper going up and two hoppers, place another dropper and a jukebox and a barrel, place a hopper going into the jukebox, block here, redstone, a repeater, and just like that, place a button, and that is the full thing. Now you're going to want to go ahead and manually put in your music discs. So I'm going to put a few in here and a few in here. And that should be everything. You can go ahead and test it out. And we have a music disc playing. So you can stop it and put it back in the barrel. So now moving on to the second design, I have a bit of a different approach to the problem. And with this design, I don't have to manually handle any music discs at all. I can just automatically skip it and it moves on to the next one. And this design is different because it uses a hopper minecart. And this is very useful because hopper minecarts can't get locked by the jukebox above them. And so this means we can take the music disc out of the jukebox anytime we want to, not just when it's done. So let's go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna hit the note block and it starts playing a random disc. And I could hit the note block again and it's just going to skip the track. And voila, we can do this as many times as we want to. And then we could also take it out if we want to and it will also automatically play the next disc. So let's go ahead and put that back in. And we can also stop the song by putting a button right there, powering the button stops the music entirely. And then we can start it again. Yeah, oh, I love stall, but there we go. So let's strip this one away a bit. This one is pretty compact. I have it pretty much in a nice four by three area here. And uh, yeah, all that's happening here is that when we hit the note block, it powers this and it goes into this piston and then this sends a signal into this piston, which pushes the minecart into place. And we have an iron bar here uh, that holds the hopper minecart inside of the iron bar just by pushing it back and forth. So it takes the music disc out 
And then we're also powering this block, which powers the droppers, which starts a new music disc. So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the tutorial. So like I said, you'll need a four by three area to build this one. And these are the materials you'll need. You'll need seven building blocks, four observers, three hoppers, two droppers, two note blocks, two repeaters, two sticky pistons, a barrel, iron bars, a jukebox, a normal piston, and a button. And optionally, you can also do a flower pot and some sort of flower. So let's get started. Place some building blocks here, a note block, an observer, an observer facing up, another building block, and you're gonna place your two droppers facing up, two hoppers like this, and we're going to go ahead and place our sticky piston, and we're going to place a rail and a hopper minecart, and then break that rail, and you'll probably need to take the rail out of the dropper, and then once you do that, you're gonna place your iron bar, and then we're gonna place a button, and we're gonna zero tick that, and that will put the iron bar inside of the hopper, or the hopper minecart. Next, you're gonna place a barrel, a jukebox, a note block, and an observer facing that note block, then place a sticky piston, another building block, and an observer facing down. Then place a repeater, put it on four ticks, and place another repeater and put it on the second tick. Then you're going to grab your piston and place it here, and then you're going to grab a hopper and put that facing into the jukebox. Then you're gonna place a button on top of this block, and now you can place your flower pot and flower if you want to. This will stop the note block from making any sound when you right click it. So now we're going to put our music discs into the droppers and it should work. So you can go ahead and test it out. Just hit the note block and we have a music disc playing just as we should. And we can stop it with the button. And last but not least, I have our third design here, and this one aims to solve an additional problem. So the last two designs, they can actually play the same song uh, every other track that plays, but this one, it will not play the same song until uh, several of them have already played. So we're gonna go ahead and try this one out. So all we have to do is flick the lever, and it starts playing. Then we can skip to a next song by hitting the note block. And of course, with all these ones, you can also wait for it to end, and then it will automatically play the next one. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, skip it by hitting the note block again. Place a new one, and then we can stop it with the lever. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and break away the blocks here. You'll see that this machine is a lot bigger uh, than the other ones. I'm sure someone could make it smaller. But yeah, basically what happens is that when the music disc ends, or when we stop it with a note block, this hopper minecart gets pushed up, and then it falls back down, and so that takes the music disc out, it goes over here, it goes up the dropper elevator, and then it just sits in this chest, and it sits in that chest until this dropper is completely empty, and once this is empty, all the music discs get put back into the dropper, and then they can randomly be played. And then I should mention that with all of these designs, there's not actually an equal chance for every music disc to play, uh, but there is a random chance. So yeah, that should be sufficient. And so you'll never get the same music disc playing until several other discs have played as well. So like I said, this one also uses a hopper minecart, the same as the last one, uh, but this one is a bit different because instead of pushing it sideways, we're pushing it up and down. And the way it does that is that we have a piston here. So the hopper minecart is technically slightly sitting on this piston using float alignment. And that allows this piston to push it up into this air gap and pull the music disc out. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Let's go ahead and move on to the tutorial. So for this one, we're going to start out with an eight by seven platform, and then we're going to go over here and go up three blocks. And this is where your jukebox and note block will be. And then let's go ahead and look at the materials that you'll need. You'll need at least 36 building blocks, 19 redstone dust, nine observers, six droppers, six comparators, six repeaters, five hoppers, three redstone torches, three target blocks, two chests, two composters, two note blocks, two sticky pistons, two glass, a jukebox, a lever, and a piston. So let's go ahead and start building something like this. You're going to place a piston here and your dropper here. And then we're gonna place three hoppers like this. And then you're gonna place a block and a comparator going out of that and put that in subtract mode, place a repeater and place some redstone dust 
And then we're gonna go over here and place an observer. And then we're going to go ahead and place three more droppers facing up. And then we're gonna go over here and place an observer, a redstone dust, another observer, and another observer, a redstone dust, and another observer. Next, we're going to put our hopper minecart in place. So place a rail and a hopper minecart, break that rail, and then you'll probably need to take that rail out of the dropper. So just remove it there if it's in there. And then we want to float align our hopper minecart. So just place a piston here, place a button on the piston and activate the button. And that will zero ticket and float align the minecart. So then we can activate this and you'll see it gets pushed up with this piston and yeah. Now let's place our composters on top of the hoppers, place some redstone dust, place a target block and some more redstone dust and place a repeater, put it on the second tick setting, place the comparator and put it in subtract mode, place another repeater, put that on three ticks and then place another target block and a note block. And then we're gonna place a sticky piston right here and then place some more blocks and place a redstone torch on that. And then go ahead and place a glass block and another redstone torch some redstone dust, another solid block, and place some more solid blocks here and an observer facing out of the note block. Then place a repeater going out of the note block, a glass block, a solid block, and two redstone dust. Place an observer facing that redstone dust and another observer facing down. Then we're gonna place a sticky piston right here with an observer on top of it. Place a solid block and then place some more solid blocks right here in a line. And then we're gonna put some redstone dust on top of that and then place another solid block put a hopper going into the jukebox and put two droppers going into that hopper and then place another hopper going into the back dropper and then place your two chests and now what we're going to do is we're going to come back here place some solid blocks and this is where we're going to get a comparator readout and place a comparator like that in subtract mode place a redstone dust and then we're going to place a repeater right on top there. Now what we need is a timing circuit, so place a redstone torch there, place some more blocks going out, and then place a formation like this, a redstone dust, a comparator, another comparator, and some more solid blocks, then put some solid blocks here, and put some redstone dust on top, then place a target block on top of that comparator, and another block, and place a repeater going into that comparator. Now, all that's left to do is place a lever on top of that, activate it, and then we can put in our music disc. So put some in here and put some in the back one, and then we can go ahead and unflick the lever and it should play a music disc. There we go. Awesome. Now what you can do is place your backboard. You can place some stuff to hide all the wiring. So we can just place some blocks like this. And something I should mention is that if you place a solid block here, it's going to completely cut off that wire. So something you can do to fix that is place another few blocks, place some redstone like that, and that will fix that. But otherwise what you could do is you could just place a top slab or other transparent block like that, and that should work just as well. So now we can right click the note block and skip to another song. We could right click it again. And we could right click it again and we can keep doing that forever until you get to a song you want. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And just as a small note, if you're playing this in your bass, you probably want to take out the discs 13, 11, and five. These are the particularly creepy ones. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.